Dajahao. Hello everyone, my name is Kurt. Thank you for joining me as we study and learn beautiful Chinese. The beauty of this channel is that we're all learning together. I don't know, it almost seems like I've missed something there. Anyway, uh, we'll start with about culture. Something about culture. And we are continuing about the, uh, the cuisines, the different areas and regions of China. This one is about southern China. Uh, known in the western, or known in the west as Cantonese cuisine, the cooking of Guangdong and Hong Kong. Guangdong is the province, and that's where Hong Kong, the city of Hong Kong, is in. Uh, Guangdong and Hong Kong is renowned for its delic delicacies, uh, inventiveness, and variety of flavors. Uh, most dishes are steamed in water or stir-fried in a wok to seal in the flavor and retain freshness. Uh, abalone and other shellfish are popular, as as in shark fish, shark shark fin. Sorry, shark shark fin. Uh, served stewed or as a soup. Uh, breakfast and lunch menus in, invariably include dim sum, steamed miniature dumplings, and savory dishes, uh, sorry, savory pastries containing a variety of meat and vegetable fillings. Less appealing to Western palates might be the more exotic local delicacies which include dog, cat, monkey, and lizard. Yeah, All right. And yes, they do eat dog in China. Even, even though you might see a video where a Chinese person will say we Chinese people don't. And I've heard from people who've lived there for 20 years, like two guys who've lived in different parts two years, sorry, 20 years combined, 20 years or more. And they're, they said that you can look up on Google and look up, put in three characters, you know. It literally means dog, meat, uh, restaurant, uh, or store. And you will find, I mean, you could just search any city, go to the big cities, just put in the search for Shanghai, Put in the search Beijing, put in the search, in the search uh, Guangzhou, put in the search, you know, just put it in, put in a, just select a big city. Put in those three characters and you'll find several uh, markets that are dog meat specific. They're just for dog meat. Okay, so now we're doing the phrase of the video. Phrase of the video. This one is a question. Um, and I will read it to you just so you can hear it. Uh, I'll read it slow first and then regular speed. Ni dong ma. Ni dong ma. Ni dong ma. Okay. Alright, that is a question. It is a, not just a phrase. So the first character means village or hometown. So like a rural part of of the city uh, of the of a, any country rural rural part the second one is and this one is this one is actually three strokes the second one is ruler not not uh, not the thing that uh, like not like a king not that kind of ruler but the uh, like a tape measure that kind of ruler the third one is a measure word, MW, measure word, for, it's for CDs, for movies, for DVDs, small thin items, uh, when, when, we're, when we're talking about objects. Okay, the fourth character, sorry, um, yeah, we'll, we'll go over the strokes, <laughs> we'll go over the strokes. The fourth character is only or merely, the fifth character is to hold or to wield. So like to hold or wield a weapon was an example, specific example to hold a weapon. 
And the fifth character is rites or ceremony. And next, stroke order. All right, first character, village or the rural part of any country uh, or hometown. So the first stroke, second stroke, third stroke. All right, three strokes. All right, the next one is ruler, like take measure. One, two, three, four. All right, the third character is a measure word for small, thin items or movies. So CDs and DVDs are examples. All right, first stroke, second stroke, third stroke, fourth stroke. All right. Character number four, only or merely. One, two, three, four, four strokes. All right, character number five, to hold or total weapon to hold or to wield a weapon. No, I mean, a weapon was just one example, so. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and the sixth character is it writes like someone's, I guess, uh, right. I guess it's like trying to, you have to do like ceremony, like wedding ceremony. Um, I guess a rites, a passage, passage of rites kind of thing. So this one is stroke one, stroke two, and you go on the left, the right side for some strange reason. My, my Chinese friend showed me that I was drawing it wrong. So you go on the right side first, then the left side, and then the dot, and dot in the middle. So we've done, I think we've done this character on the right. We've done this character on the left. When we, we put them together, they look a little slightly, they look slightly different. This is what we're talking about when it comes to radicals, the right, uh, Sorry, the left character person is the radical in this example. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk about radicals eventually. We'll get there. All right, guys. So, village or hometown or a rural part of a country. That's three strokes. Ruler, that's one, two, three. Four strokes. A measure word for CDs, small thin thing objects, CD, CDs, DVDs, and even movies. That is one. Four strokes. Only, only and merely. That's one, two, three, four. Four strokes. To hold or to wield. That's five strokes. And ceremony or rites. Five strokes. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys did, give me a like. You know, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. Tell your friends, family, and neighbors. Uh, I, I believe we're still at 25. I, well, I think I'm, I'm still at 25 subscribers. Uh, let's get the word out, guys. Uh, I've told as many of my friends on Messenger. I've told friends on QQ, but. They can't get YouTube, so um, I've told my friends at work, I've told my neighbors, 
Uh, some of my neighbors have decided to add to, to subscribe. Some of them haven't. Hey, it's their choice. It's up to them. So what are we going to talk about next? Let's see. Let me, let me see if I can open this book here and find out what's left. Well, there are... There's a section that says other regions, talking about the food. So we'll talk about other regions like Northwest, um, Inner Mongolia, uh, places like that, Tibet. So uh, we have one more section, it looks like, at least for a regional, from a regional standpoint when it comes to the food. Maybe we'll be, uh, maybe we'll be a little more specific here in the near future about, about those foods. Uh, maybe we'll talk about uh, the different uh, kinds of activities they enjoy in China, uh, outdoor activities. Uh, maybe we'll talk about the sports they have, sports they don't, maybe not necessarily a comparison, but what things do they enjoy, what things don't they have, you know, compared to Westerners, you know, what, what kind of sports we have. Um, just anyway, we'll get there. We have plenty of ground to cover, plenty of characters to learn and plenty of uh, sentences to learn as well. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Come back, let's continue learning, okay guys? See you later, Zai Jian.